Okay guys, let's see how we can install Django on Windows 11. So first we go to the official python.org page and in downloads, we download the latest version. Here is 3.13 and of course we run the installation. Keep in mind to check the option for adding Python to the environmental variables and to the path because we would like to be able to run the Python command from each and every directory we are in. Now, when the installation finishes, you can just open one command prompt and type Python minus minus version, and this will give you the version of Python installed on your system. Now, let's create a virtual environment and install Django. So first I'll create one directory, let's say Django, and inside I'll create a virtual environment with Python minus M virtual environment. And let's say it is my env it will be called this environment. We can see that it created a new directory, my environment. While we're creating this environment in order for the next packages that we are installing, not to mess with the already installed packages on the system. So if we want to develop code, we can do so inside of this virtual environment without interfering with our system uh, Python libraries. Okay, so we are inside of the my env directory and from here we'll open Visual Studio Code. As you can see, there is nothing, but right now we'll install the following extensions. We would like to have the Python extension inside of Visual Studio Code. And also when we click on Control Shift and P to select interpreter for Python. And here we'll choose the location of our virtual environment. Okay, after we've done this, now it's time to open one terminal. So the next thing to do is inside of the common prompt to activate this environment. So inside of the scripts, we have one activate file. We'll run it using scripts and then activate.ps1. Of course, if you're using command prompt, instead you can use just the activate command. Okay, now we are inside of the virtual environment and we'll install Django from djangoproject.com. We will use the Windows installation option. I'll just paste the option here and wait until all those libraries are being downloaded and installed. And we can see them afterwards here showing in our libraries. Okay, so the framework has been installed. Okay, so I can use Django admin and then start project the command to create my project. This will be our first project. It will create it here inside of the environment and I can go inside my project. And since we have when what Python, we can use it to start our server, Python manage.py run server. And as you can see on our local host, still have a Django development server running. If we click on the link, we see that's the result. And from here on, we can start creating our project.